Hello, my beautiful friends. So a couple years back, I posted a, a quick 30 second video when, when I was just starting to play around with reels. Um, and the video was, my sound healing journey started with tuning forks. This is a 528 hertz tuning fork. Where do you feel this in your body? And that was pretty much the whole of the video. And this video on YouTube is still getting a ton of views. I still get about a dozen comments on this video every day, which is, which is really interesting. So I, I decided that I should post kind of a response video to that. What I was actually doing in this video, or trying to do in those 30 seconds, was just getting you to tune in and listen to your body, which is such 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 an important thing to do um and my tuning my my sound healing journey really did start with tuning forks i i bought this sofeggio set where this one fork came from there's there's a nine fork set back um just about exactly 10 years ago and i started working with the tuning forks every day every morning it would be my morning practice to work with the forks to just kind of activate myself and uh, journal, or also, you know, activate my, my third eye sight and write, draw down the geometric patterns I was seeing. And I did this every day for years. And if you've ever read any of my blog posts, that is how I wrote my blog posts. Um, I would sit down and the days when words were flowing, I would just work with the tuning forks, get myself activated and just scribble words <laughs> really quickly and um some of them ended up you know being really profound especially like 2017 2018 a lot of my blog posts were were getting really potent but that was the practice and it's a practice that i um when i'm working with people coaching the very first coaching session in the very first like 10 to 15 minutes of the very first coaching section this is what we focus on working with tuning forks um, or sound in general as a way to get yourself activated um, with a very specific technique, um, very specific guidelines to, to tune in to that activation, to tune in and notice what's coming up so that you're not missing anything because it's so easy to miss things. And it's very simply, you know, listening, feeling, seeing, and noticing. So just tuning in to the sound, and it doesn't even have to be sound. It's just a good practice regardless for, for tuning in. Listening to what you're hearing, where you're hearing it, how it's affecting you, how it's blooming. Feeling into your body, noticing how it's flowing down into your body, noticing if there's any specific chakra that's feeling, feeling stuck, or if you're feeling any tension in your body, or feeling out into your energy, energy field as well, feeling how things are flowing. And then, um, and then seeing, noticing what you're actually seeing if your eyes are open, if you're seeing any energy patterns or anything like that, any energy waves, or, if, uh, or also with your third eyesight, noticing any energy or any geometric patterns that you might be seeing. It's so easy to, to discount that stuff. And then noticing is noticing shifts in your consciousness, noticing how things are changing, noticing if there's a, um, any shift in your mood, if you're becoming you know, more charged, more, more uh, tuned in in ways that, that um, shift you into more positive states of being. So yeah, listening, feeling, seeing, and noticing is a potent way to tune in. And um, I highly recommend doing it with tuning forks. <laughs> um, and also, I'd, I'd like to say that I, um, like I said, I've been coaching for, uh, for a while now. I started coaching my sound healing practice, intuitive sound healing, back in February. Um, I, I worked with just a couple people. And then about a month ago, I picked up a couple more coaching, uh, coaching students. And what I've been, the reason why I moved into doing this is because for a while now, I've been meaning to put together a sound healing course teaching my sound healing practices. I've had many, many great mentor, mentors, but I've, I've, through years of actually putting it into practice, doing hundreds of events and all the self-work that I've done, um, I've kind of refined it into, um, into what is, for me at least, a very potent practice. Um, 
and I've I've been teaching music, you know, teaching guitar, teaching music, music theory, and things like that for um, for almost thirty years. So I know how it works, and I know that once I actually start teaching something, developing curriculum becomes significantly easier. It just starts to flow and starts to be way better than it would be if if you're just trying to put it down without ever actually working through it. Um, so I started teaching back in February, and it's been going really well. I'm, I think I'm on my my third round of students right now, and I'm um, I, I've decided with within either either this coming week or the following week, I am actually opening up two more coaching slots. So if um, if that is something you are interested in, um, there will be a link in uh, the description of this video or in my bio where you can go and read a little bit about that and uh, fill out a quick form. And if, uh, if it seems like a good match, what we'll do is we'll hop on a quick video chat face-to-face -face for 10 minutes or so just to, just to talk, um, see where you're at, and see if it's a good match, and, um, and see if one of those slots is for you. <laughs> um, so yeah, if, if that calls to you, please do reach out. But regardless of that, I hope that this practice can serve you, can serve you in some way. Just um, remembering to tune into yourself and just the very simple guidelines of listen, feel, see, and notice that can just give you the focus that you need to tune in and catch things that you might otherwise miss, which is a very potent, powerful first step to really, really opening up your intuition. I hope that helps in some way. And I hope that you have a beautiful day. Thank you.